a war machine! Here I am, a war machine! Good evening, my fellow wargamers and hobbyists. Uh, it's been a while since I've done anything. Uh, make a quick note, it's a good thing that most things hobby related are not text based uh, because as with all of my cameras, aside from my actual camera, I only seem to get inverted text. In any case, uh, I want to let you know what this is about real quick and how I may be doing it. Uh, this is a video about the assembly of the miniature you see before you, Sauron. Uh, it's the beginning of what may or may not be my War of the Ring Army of Mordor, uh, but he is also a Citadel Finecast miniature. This is the first Finecast miniature I've worked with, and uh, basically we're gonna we're gonna learn this thing together. So this is a tutorial, in some ways, of how to put together Sauron slash a Finecast miniature. I have a few things here. Um, I have my super glue, a hobby knife, my snips, and there's a file around here somewhere right over here. One file. I do not know exactly what will be needed, however, uh, asking the Games Workshop guy, because yes, I did actually buy this model from Games Workshop, uh, he says super glue and file will be fine, and I don't need to pin it, so we will see. Um, the style of this video will either be a video, much like you're seeing now, uh, if you are seeing it now, that, or it will be a series of photos uh, step by step because my webcam seems to have a problem with actually cutting off the video portion of it. It will be edited in a similar way to girl paintings videos because I like to try and keep my things under 10 minutes. If this goes over 10 minutes, my editing software for some reason will not let me upload it to YouTube. So if there's a part two, there will be a part two, but I will try to keep it in one part even though I've spent two minutes already talking about this. So, without further ado, I will start putting Sauron together. What you see before you is everything that comes in the box. Uh, I took them all out of the plastic packaging. Hopefully my camera will eventually focus on it, but um, well, it focuses over there. What do you have here? This is Sauron's arm, his pointing arm, his body, and his head. The remainder of Sauron's crown and Dissildor. Um, yep. As well as some dead guy, Sauron's mace arm, another shoulder pauldron to go with his mace arm, and that's it for that. Uh, what you can see is there is a ridiculous amount of flashing on here. I'm going to take this all apart off camera or right here. Uh, this is very, very thin stuff right here that just came right off. Uh, but there's a there's a ton of little extra sprue bits that you can see right here. You know, you just got to kind of chop everything up. I'm curious if it will come apart. It, it, it's, it's very flexible. It just like breaks off very easily. Um, it's a little concerning, but we'll see. These are supposed to be slightly more durable as far as tabletop use than the metal models, so we'll see. Uh, let me grab my knife here, or my clippers, and I'll just cut out Sauron's body for now. Yeah, just kind of, it's like butter, almost. Very stiff, old butter. I like butter, I mean cuts through it just like plastic. So you can use, uh, if any of you watch Christopher Davidson, you can use your plastic cutting sprues or cutter clippers for this process because this is very soft stuff. I was also told this is resin, but you do not need to wear a mask for it. Uh, you can if you want still, but they told me that they have improved their recipe since uh, and it is no longer as toxic at the very least. You don't want to eat it, but you don't need to worry about breathing it in. Alright, so I'm going to do the rest of this, and then I will come right back and start the gluing process. Also, it should be noted, I'm not going to concern myself with Isildur or the guy on the base at the moment. I just want to get Sauron put together because the other two pieces are essentially scenery. Alright, see you in a minute. Second.